Welcome back to the 14th, and this should be final episode of the seventh season of Conquest of Elysium 5 with the Dru uh, Dryad Queen here. Not the Druid Queen. Um, the world was ours for the taking, but we took it. Apart from a few places there which we just haven't been bothered with, to be honest. I guess we could bother with them, but it doesn't really matter, as long as it's not, uh... Huh... Maybe we should get some guy over here just to check things out. We'll just take whatever station here, it doesn't really matter. I'll take all this with us and uh, just make sure that it's not the barbarian with an army over here. And that being said, well, this last peninsula here, I don't know exactly how large it is. We could go out there quite a bit, but this is where the barbarian is held up. And we are just kind of waiting for a larger force to get gathered up before we attack him. Maybe we need to back off a little bit, actually. There's a chance we might need to, I'm not sure. Because now he's pushing closer up towards us, sir, so... Not sure what to make of that. 142 unit army, that's not the strongest army. And it might not even be strong enough, either way. Um, let's do Ritual of Mastery here, and then, yeah, Major Animal Summoning, fantastic. So we have that on our Herophant. Just summon up some stuff with him, and then we just summon up... Uh, with major animal summoning with the Dryad Queen as well. Just increase our army size a little bit this way. Then we have this Dryad Queen over here as well that can do some... Uh, no, not minor animal summoning. Oh well, I mean that's a pretty good animal. Ah, she got my major animal summoning on the first go. Fantastic. Uh, well, let's see here. Cataphracts, sure. Let's get some cataphracts. And uh, it's a bit laggy. I don't know why. Probably because there's so much going on on the map or something. Um, assuming we're just dealing with some uh, messenger coasts that are being a little bit annoying. That's fine. Uh, use special power here. Let's just, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, let's let you have mastery. And move over to the next one. Make it a primal forest, I guess. Just to do something. Right, so we're moving our armies in, and we're going to strike fairly soon. We're building up for the final blow. Although we can probably separate these armies out there and take them on one by one, the way that they are doing things right now, at least. So, okay, they want to push past us or something. Um, summer seems to be hotter and longer than usual. Well, they tend to be, I suppose. Gonna get a scout, Satyr Commander, Archers. We'll give all that to our uh, Satyr Commander here, link him up with the Dryad Queen over here. Which we'll use special powers of Major Animal Summoning with. And just keep bolstering our forces. That's all we're doing at the moment. She'll take full control of everything. Um... Okay, well, these armies separately aren't really all that. On their own, they aren't really all that either. Oh, <laughs> wow, we got one centipede out of that. Wow. Nice, and one moose. Great animal summoning still. We can summon up a few more, though. Try three times with this guy before we attack. And there we go. Our numbers are growing. We should certainly outpace our opponent here on the growth of these things. So, uh, yeah, we have this army right next to him here. We could actually just do Ritual of Master a couple of times with uh, Narania here as well. Might as well. She's got some excess uh, action points. And let's go for Create Primal Forest. We certainly have the herbs for it. Hmm. Okay, well, we should be able to catch up with and eliminate that army. So, it, it just makes it easier for us to try to break out like this. I don't see why they would bother doing that, but uh, sure, why not? 
this thing. I'm, I'm thinking he will be MVP when we get to the final boss, the level 3 druid, because he can just teleport right up his ass and just take him out that way. This thing could really be dangerous for the enemy. Uh, I'm not sure how he exactly teleports, like what lets him do this. It doesn't... Hmm, they've strangely distorted perceptions and the motives cannot be comprehended by sane people. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not sure why they teleport. I don't see anything that kind of says that they do on them, so... But oh well. Absolutely crushing this army, as expected. A lot of horn blowers are scaring away a few for bear, so... Hmm. They also have a massive animal army somewhere up here. So we lost 12 units, moose, bear, and a mufflon, mufflon, how we say that? Mutton. Right, let's just summon up some more animals here, I guess. Actually, let's link this army here up with our other army. Anything we can buy? No, not specific, or not particularly. But yeah, we're just, uh, we're soon ready to go. And we want to take this city here back so he doesn't start buying a commander here and just being annoying. Basically. We send these guys back up in the mountains and this guy can do a major animal summoning. And, uh, well, I'm kind of still waiting for Tia, the third, to get over here. Which is fine. She doesn't necessarily need to get over there. We could probably stop watching the independent faction by now, but uh, I'm just going to forget to turn it back on for my next playthrough if I do it at this point, if I'm honest, so I'm just going to leave it. Now we're smashing through the ranks, crushing them. And there we go, fantastic, and uh, let's see, yeah, we're just going to summon up a bunch of animals before we attack her, uh, while we wait for the rest of our forces to catch her. Um, something weird is going on with my computer right now. Hopefully it isn't too visible. I mean, we're just spe Wow, one serpent. Lucky us. Could have asked for more, to be honest. But oh well. Oh, we got these woodmen dudes with us. Well, they're just absolutely trash and annoying, but what are you gonna do? Let's do another ritual of mastery here. We can summon animals with like four different. We can do 12 major animal summonings here per turn. Basically. Okay, we got that back. We can just take some stuff here so the red guy doesn't have it, I guess. And, uh, eh, I don't know. Summon some servants of Gaia, maybe. Why not? Bunch of monster boars. Do we have an army that's ready to go? Get some Minotaur warriors. And, uh, next turn. At this point, the only thing we need to do to win is just finish off the Barbarian, which we are getting very close to doing. Hellfan tied for 84 gold. Yeah, sure, why not? That's another caster for us. Isn't gonna hurt. And alone, up here. And we summon up more major animals. Little by little, our ranks are growing. We got 500 units in this uh, army alone right now. Next turn we start attacking. It's, uh, it's good what we have. It's, it's good enough. 
Maybe we summon up a few more just for good measure because uh, let's get this guy up on the mountain and whatnot. You see how he's got minor animal summoning. Now we can we can do a bit of that as well. It's all good. I just start roaming the land with her. Wait a minute, did she bring any of these? Yeah, let's not bring those. Right, well, his imminent demise is about. I wish you could, like, turn off and fit it all just like aquatic independent movement. Right, because that's most of the independent movement we're seeing right now. You know, we're going to do minor animal summoning here, get a centipede. We've been getting just one of those with major animal summoning several times as well, so. Right, we'll do major animal summoning, we wait one more turn and then we go. Just spam out some animals with my entire army here. Or all my commandos that actually can. Get some great numbers going now. Keep them coming out. Marania can summon up what for 400 herbs? I mean, good luck to the enemy. He's going to be needing it. Wish we could do the other greater animal summonings without having like a global Gaia of Gaia and all better than that. So yeah, 562 units strong army. If that's not enough to win this, then I don't know what the hell is. Put that guy in stationary, I don't care, she can be stationary as well. We don't really need Tia. Shouldn't need Tia. If we do, then I don't know what the hell's going on. He doesn't have any citadels in other parts of the map. We basically control the entire map except for this one last peninsula where he is at. Just gonna... Some stuff there, doesn't matter at all. And now... Well, well, let's uh, summon up a couple more before we attack. Well, a little bit more than a couple more. Three more with this person, for instance. So they have one action point left to move and attack with. Anyone who can summon up animals will. Let's do Ritual of Master with this guy. Instead of the minor ones. Um, there you go. Minor. He's got major animal summoning now for next turn, I mean. This guy can just do major. Maybe three of them. The forest is almost ready to attack. All right, let's do it. So, uh, yeah, we do have quite a bit of units uh, in the end to attack. Well, we have a lot more than this, but this is what we're going in with. This is what we're going to finish the damn game with at last. Ah, oh, there's something over here making, making the area remain green throughout winter. Interesting. Tia's moving a bit slow because she's got all these animals with her. And I really don't want to leave them behind, although we could just bring the giant sized ones, I guess. Oh, look at that, he's trying to sneak past the command on being annoying. For fuck's sake. Well, we can deal with that. We'll just uh, send some units after him. I mean, we obviously won this. But let's see how quickly he needs to leave him. Didn't even lose a fly. Not that we have flies, but we have a massive army, though. Uh, right, and then there's like this little annoying group of units. So, so we'll have... 
these guys. Uh, I think we do it this way. Amidon. Just take all this Minotaurs with him. No, let's uh, unequip everyone and then we'll bring all the commanders that cannot um, summon things up and we'll give them here. So here's the rare rank. Uh, we'll give them a couple of scouts as well. And why don't we give them every single Minotaur? We probably have several types of Minotaurs. We'll give them these guys as well, and those Minotaurs. Yeah, 44 units, that's enough. Uh, no, just like this. Amidon. Get ready to attack the other guys, so uh, we're just gonna keep pushing and see if we can find this commander. That's the whole thing that we're doing right now. And if we can intercept and murder that guy as well, that would be good. Should be able to catch up with him as soon as it turns to spring. Should be. I'm not caring about the rest of the map at this point in time. I mean, we could keep gaining control of everything, but we don't have to to win. Oh shit, I only sent in the commanders, not the actual army. Oh no, that's really bad actually. Um... Yeah, that could not end so nicely for me. Okay, I messed up on that one. So, Amidon here can maybe... Leave one of these guys, sir, Basilis Goss, to go and pick up the army. And these guys can just move into the forest here, I suppose, and... Uh, start summoning major animals again. And, uh, yeah, we'll do exactly that. Uh, hopefully we don't get attacked by these other guys while doing this, but... Oh well, even if we do, it's not the end of the world. I don't want that uh, level 3 druid dude to attack me while I'm standing here with a tiny army and the main army is over here. That would be a little bit inconvenient. Aha, uh -huh, we got a Sator Commander Twisted Figurine, sure. What does that do? Maybe summon a gargoyle? No, uh, summons a shadow in. Okay, well this army is good enough to take on this, but at least we have it there, so... That's something. Moving on to the next turn. If we can turn into spring now, we can go and take them out. Hopefully there aren't too many citadel things on this uh, peninsula. Or maybe we can just take the barbarians' last citadel. If they only have one left. Uh, but yeah, we'll figure that out. Centaur Commander, 56 gold. Spring is there, so we attack them, and we get that Centaur Commander as well, because we might as well. Then we just attack with those guys also. This guy links up with the rest of them over here. And since we can't really move further with the entire army just yet, guess what? We're gonna do some more major animal summoning. Oh, not those trash ones, please. Oh, well, we'll drop them all off there. Once we're done, we'll drop off this as well. This guy's stupid, though, still roam around. We'll see what comes of that. But actually, is he slow? We'll find out. Uh, no, it's actually just stupid, not slow. Okay, so we keep him now. Oh, no, we can do it one more time, so let us... And, uh, yeah, more animal summoning. Ooh, ooh, oh, yuck. That's more like it. We should definitely out-summon whatever the hell the druid dude is doing. Come on, not these, they're so garbage. Eh. 
Because we get for summoning animals in the forest. That's not even animals, though. What, why are they getting summoned? They're not animals. They're like trees that move around. What's the difference, though? And that's all we can do. Materiano's gonna take control of our most of these units, uh, except for those. We're just gonna leave them. And uh, yeah, so our army is going inside. So we have 671 units in this spot alone. And we just need that messenger code to not roam onto one of uh, one of our citadels. But we're just gonna stomp it before it gets to do that. And uh, we're gonna send our massive army to actually engage the damn Dryad Queen. Uh, sorry, I am the damn guy, uh, Dryad Queen. Uh, I meant the damn Barbarian. So how's that battle? Should be an easy win. Just smashing through with our super good Minotaurs. Knocking him back, killing all the shit. Fantastic, we didn't lose anything on that. Very nice. Okay, so we just kinda... Uh, this guy can probably stick with the rest of them. And here is a castle. Gonna have to take on that guy first before we do anything else. And uh, okay, all that merged into one army. Tia keeping on roaming up north. Uh, we attack the castle, and then... Where did his... He had a level 3 druid. Where did that go? Is it roaming around over here, or what the hell's going on? Hmm. How large is this area up here, even? That's what I'm starting to wonder. Attacked in the forest. Well, uh, yeah, that's probably not going to go so well for me. I don't really care about it though. We lost everything, didn't kill anything. It's okay. It's just some throwaway trash units anyway. Um, yeah, I'm still not seeing that uh, commander though. We should maybe secure the middle tower with these guys. So he doesn't get that citadel back. I mean, there's some stuff around the map we could have been captured. We could pre pretty much own the entire map. And we pretty much do. Right? I don't really care about the last few bits and pieces. Just a waste of time to get it all really right now. I probably would have cared if I played alone. Or maybe not even, but like, I mean, I am playing alone. But if I wasn't playing for YouTube. Bumper harvest. Income from all farms and Holbrook villages is doubled. Don't really care. So the MVP just teleports in and gets him from the rear. Gotta love it. Before they can really deal with him, he just teleports somewhere else. Repeats the process. Yeah, that's a lot of units waiting to uh, to get their turn. And the castles are just buffing up the rear ranks because that's pretty much all they can do. Except for Naturianus just spawning in a fuckload of wolves. Ah, uh, but yeah, it's a win. Did we lose anything? Eh, yeah, a few animals. Doesn't matter. And, uh... Oh, hello, horrors. Mystical Columns, Star Oak, Stellar Moor, hmm. Range 1, Astrology Level 1, Strange Things. Well, I've seen Stranger Things. Huh, do you get it? Do you get it? Ah, there he is. Get ready to die, bitch. Well, where the hell did this entire army go? No, this is the Druid's Apprentice. Oh man, there's actually a lot of land up here. I was kind of hoping it would be a... Uh... Oh shit, there he is. Oh no. Uh, this ain't good. Can we... <laughs> no. No, that's the guy we want to actually deal with. Fuck me. 
Uh, oh, he didn't even bother. Like, that's just too small for him to care about. He's going up to, to deal with our main army here. I hope this goes uh, in our favor. Honestly, I mean, I guess it could not go in our favor. Because his army is pretty large. But I'm hoping this thing will... What happened to it now? Debilitating wound and feeble-minded? Ah, uh, well. Feeble-minded doesn't really matter that much. But I'm hoping this will happen when we get in combat with the other guys. He just goes straight for his commander. Teleports back to the back rank and kills it. I'm not sure how far I can teleport or anything, but I guess we'll find out. Thinking this guy will be MVP. Hoping that guy will be MVP. He kind of has been so far. At least in this army. Right. Okay, well, here's the uh, one, two, three. We can attack this turn. Fantastic. Um... Let's have a look at the spells we're using here. Cloud of Confusion, Mist of Confusion. Because uh, of the Frog Prince, maybe. Yeah, let's stick that down there. Enemy tree, yes, no. Confusion could work. It's single target, so that's good. Cloud of Confusion, maybe. That could be bad, though. Uh, charm. Yeah, let's try that instead of Cloud of Confusion. And, uh, well, we outnumber him. <sighs> my army is much larger than this. I mean, look at my... We'll just do this, right? This is the army's facing off. Here's his army. And, uh... Here's mine. It's just like the size of all these frontline units, so uh, just... Really adds a few ranks to, to our battle ranks, so we'll take on these guys as well. Why not? Keep sending T off just in case we have to. Alright, this should be the final uh, the final showdown here. This should be it. We should win now. I'm hoping. Have we not won since these people are still moving around here? Or what's, uh, what's happening? What's going on? Hmm. Um, oh, look at that. I got a message at the same time as I defeated Convict Tolitanus. Let's see how this thing went down, though. I want to see if the MVP teleports to the back line. Whoa, wait, why do we have a tree? Oh, he did. Soul Shadow. He did teleport to the back line, but he was turned into a tree. And stuck in a net and poison and shit, so... I don't care so much about front lines. No, I wanted him to get back in and kill the commando. Oh, wow. I think we got some lag going on here, boys. Whoa, at least we get to see how this animation actually plays out. Um, so now we're just witnessing this. <laughs> what the fuck? The game can't handle itself. Okay, we're back in action. Well, unfortunately, it turns out this guy has not been MVP so far. I'm hoping he will be at some point, though. Hmm. Nope. Well, that sucks. Oh my god, my ears! I have to take off the headset, holy fuck! It had like a ripple effect, like... My god, what is going on in this battle? Oh my... Now it's just going through everything to see if it's stunned or not. Wow, well, okay, let's, uh, let's keep our eyes on the front line. hell man I'm actually feeling this on the Richter scale 
I mean, he's killing off a lot of his own stuff with that. I'm not sure it's been having too good effect on my... Well, yeah, seemingly it has, actually. Oh, well. Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. Why do they have that tune so freaking loud? Like, compared to other moves. It's just insane. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. I can't watch this with my headphones on. It's louder than usual too. Oh, fuck. Hell, it's ringing in my ears. Jesus, Lord Almighty. Okay, we won, we won, we won, we won, we won. We're done with that. Jesus Christ. He dead, he dead. That's all we need to know. There was a battle somewhere, but apparently it was removed from the game before the battle happened or something. Uh, so yeah, Natoriana has won the game. We won. So let's have a reveal of the map. I want to see what was up in this area. Oh wow, that's actually uh, quite the peninsula. Not gonna lie, I thought like there was just like a little bit of land here initially. And that like there was like a tiny island here. I did not envision it being this massive. Um, but yeah. So basically we could have owned... We owned the entire map. It's just we didn't bother taking everything. And then we kind of slacked on like remaining in control of things. Because we snowballed so hard at some point that there was really no point in doing that. There's a little island around here as well. And one over here. And this one. With a dwala on it. And, uh... Yeah, that's basically it. Uh, so, let's check the, um... Score graph. Okay. Army strength. We were pretty much bottom. For a long while until... We kind of started dealing with the remaining four players there. One by one, or like... A little bit this guy, a little bit that guy, and then things started to snowball quite hard, and uh, we've, yeah, gained a lot until the last battle where we lost a lot. Capital-wise, or Citadel-wise, I keep saying, I keep mixing those two up, to be honest, but oh well. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's been going up and up, basically. Gold income. We've been uh, kind of bottomed out on that one for a long time until we started quite rapidly increasing in this part of the game. These three guys here died off fairly close together. While this guy kept plowing on. Iron income. It's been okay. I mean, herb income. We've basically been number one on herb income at least the entire game. We've really only had one competitor though, which is the Barbarian. But still, we have always been doing better than him. And he has plus 100% to income. And I don't. So, yeah, I'd say we've done well for ourselves. We did have a good starting position. I'm not going to deny that. Fungus income, this and that, and blah, blah, blah. Eh. You know, we did okay. We finished with a win, and hopefully you got to see some various sides of the Dryad Queen, but there's certainly more nuances to it than I have uh, been portraying here. Although, I think we've seen pretty much every Dryad Queen faction unit in this playthrough. And, uh, in a totally non-sexual way, fuck the nymphs. 750 herbs for nymphs. They're garbage. The fuck? Either way, thank you for watching this playthrough. I hope the entire thing was enjoyable for you. There will be more playthroughs in the future of other factions. I do plan to cover every faction in the game. And if you did like the playthrough and or this episode or whatever, I would appreciate a like on the video if you uh, would be so inclined. Subscriptions are also absolutely welcome. And uh, yeah, with that, have a good one. Peace out.